not so much. The internet is like this giant archive of text, photos, and angry YouTube comments. We now live in a brave new world where things could potentially last forever. Yet, messaging apps like Snapchat operate under the idea that things shouldn't live forever, and people are loving it. The company boasts over 100 million daily users and has been valued at $15 billion. Billion! So when every piece of knowledge is just a Google search away, why are we so drawn to the novelty of things just disappearing forever? Snapchat is considered a form of ephemeral messaging. Put simply, an ephemeral message is one that disappears after it's open. It's kind of like those old spy movies. Oh, what's this? Hello, Armand. This message will self-destruct. The fact that a message in Snapchat disappears is extremely important because it minimizes the inhibitions that come with more permanent forms of communicating, making the interactions way more authentic. For instance, here is a common photo I would post on my Instagram. Beautiful, I know. Now here is one that I would typically send to someone on Snapchat. See the difference? Also, Snapchat is extremely easy to use. For instance, I could spend a few minutes thinking of a clever tweet to express how hot it is outside. What am I, a potato? Because I am baking under this sun. Hashtag too hot at Kim Kardashian. Or I could simply take a photo and add the temperature filter. It's so simple. Do you ever feel anxious because you don't have as many followers on Twitter or your post doesn't get as many likes on Facebook as someone else's? Snapchat is a direct messenger, and users cannot see how many followers another user has, nor the amount of people a snap is seen by. This makes messaging on Snapchat way more intimate, and reduces the stress of performance expectations. By making a messaging platform that feels authentic, is simple to use, and reduces performance anxiety, Snapchat has made communicating fun and easy. It's no wonder people love to use it. But I can't help but feel there is something a little deeper here. We can't attach ourselves to our messages, their meanings and their intentions, because once they're sent, they're gone. Out of sight, out of mind. This idea of detachment is a central theme in Buddhist philosophy, which teaches us how detaching from the material world can relieve suffering and lead to enlightenment. So in a lot of ways, Snapchat is the Zen of social media. So snap on, little Buddhas. Namaste. Oh. I wonder if Deepak Chopra is on Snapchat. Yes, Armand, I'm on Snapchat, which seems to be just as transient as life. A lifetime is as transient as autumn clouds. To watch the birth and death of beings is like looking at the movements of a dance. A lifetime is like a flash of lightning in the sky, like a torrent rushing down a steep mountain. Always be aware of your formless nature, which is eternal, and you can detach from the rest. Take care. <laughs>